For the less discerning of you out there, notice I am also EDC in clothes. I'm wearing a shirt and I am wearing pants. Okay, like, hey, John is not naked from the waist down. That's because of pants. I wear them every day. Say it. I know, my thoughts exactly. R is a great app. This is Duke Wellington. He's the protector of chickens. He protects all of my chickens and I protect him. That's why I use Aura to protect me on the online space where all kinds of digital stuff happens that I don't really understand. Aura is the sponsor of this video. They found some of my info on the dark web, which was very upsetting to me. What did you think about that? They give me a VPN, they give me antivirus software, they give me fraud prevention, they give me password management. And holy cow, what's the fifth thing, Ben? They give you Twinkies. Twinkies is wrong. Identity theft. They do all those services wrapped in. If you visit aura.com slash WPS, you can get started on a free two-week trial, low monthly payment. It is absolutely worth it. Check it out and now on to the video. What's happening, my friends? I am John Lovell. This is the Warrior Poet Society YouTube channel, and thanks so much for tuning in. I'm going through my 2023 EDC update, and so I'll go through head to toe, and I'll try to make it pretty snappy. I made some changes, and I've got one particular hack that some of you guys would be like, holy smokes, why didn't I think of that? So starting at the top, my general eyewear are these gargoyles glasses. They're impact rated, so if you try to shoot me in the face, I'll probably die, but there's a chance if you're shooting some little airsoft gun or you got a like little dinky 22 long rifle i'll be just fine so those of you guys who edc 22 long rifle jokes on you you cannot shoot me in the eye when the sun is out my watch is the garmin phoenix 6 the sapphire crystal whatever face means it's never getting scratched and when I first heard that, I'm kind of like, what kind of bogus marketing is that? But I was like, it's really not getting scratched. I wear this because I really insist on GPS. I'm all about that land nav life. And so this is the thing I've got. Next thing, I switch out knives. Right now I'm carrying our Nero, which is really, really cool and fun. And when it opens, it has this kind of like, you feel the weight shift and it's like ching. And then it feels kind of like samurai. And I didn't know I would like this knife as much as I actually do. Nero means black in Italian. So for some of you guys who know church history, Nero was a Roman emperor who flayed and, and tortured Christians in the first century. So not that Nero just means black and Italian. I'm either carrying this knife or I'm carrying our Fox folder. And this is awesome. Pulls out real quick and then like this for rapid deployment, and then you can just box. And so by far for a defensive blade, this is as good as it gets. Absolutely awesome because even if you don't know how to fight with knives you can just grab this girl and you box and you keep them at distance and you just poke holes in them and so this is my favorite defensive knife but this is a really fun work knife and so i really alternate but this is my favorite knife both are very good uh, next thing is keys and not that you care about my keys but here's kind of my working keys i got a lot of keys i got like filing cabinets trailer hitches. I moonlight as a janitor. <laughs> if this whole warrior poet thing doesn't work out, I'm going to be doing janitor stuff. And so actually got no problems with janitor. These little lanyards right here, I like them because it clips on a belt loop and back. And then this goes in the back of my pocket. So instead it doesn't make this big monkey fist in the front of my pocket, which is really, really annoying. And guys, you're going to see all kinds of warrior poet stuff. It, the reason why is, is whenever I find something I really like, I put it on our website. So if you guys want to support the channel, virtually everything you'll see is on our website. What I like, I think is good value, I put on the website. So make sure you visit our link down below and give us a visit. Really appreciate the support. No more plugs. Keys. Next thing, wallet. Mine is just real simple. I've got credit cards. I've got a certain amount of cash in here. Random stuff that I find important. Uh, man card. Some of you guys don't have that. You should think about that. Do you have a library card? I do not have a library card. I just buy the books now. Next is a trusty pen. I like this because it's got the glass carbide breaker so you can break glass. Uh, I also unscrew and so it does in fact double as a pen. And so when I'm traveling through TSA, I'll put this with my other pens in my backpack. And so it doesn't look as uh, obvious. And so there you go. But when I'm traveling abroad or I'm on an airplane, this is always with me. Next is a phone. I bought this in 1985. No, it's very, very old. I haven't updated in ages. I have a love-hate relationship with my phone. I really love it when I need it. And then other times I'm like, everyone's spying on me. 
because I fear all the weird techie software. Uh, Surefire Stiletto flashlight. I'm surprised how much I really love this light. I thought my EDC would change, but really it came down to comfort and not just Michelin bulging out from every single pocket. So I feel like this rounded mass walking through urban areas. This is slimmer and it's really, really powerful. Boom, there you go. Uh, so this is a thousand lumen light. It's got a few little work settings so it can go like low, medium, and then super high. And then it just charges with a little recharge cable so I'm not burning through expensive of one, two, three batteries. So love this. Next thing is gun. Here's my gun right here. So you guys can, some of you guys are looking here, get your head up right here. This is tier one holster. I really like it. The spare mag is a 13 rounder. And here's a fun little hack. I have earplugs that I put down in here. So if you get the magazine that is more recessed in, you can put something like earplugs down in there, and then you can have your magazine on top of it. Uh, and so it'll stick up a little bit higher and you don't have to get the recess mag. I actually wish I'd had the one that stands up a little bit more so that this magazine doesn't seat all the way down and then it's hard to have quick purchase. Uh, but my hack was, I'm like, man, I need something that'll make it stand up a little bit. And so earplugs was the way. I personally put in earplugs all the time. I just don't do well with really loud noises. And I'm the guy on in church. I put earplugs in because I'm an old man uh, that heard too many bombs back in the day. Here is our War Poet uh, by Shadow Systems. This is the CR920, so it's a smaller version. So this is in the subcompact class. However, it's a 10 plus one. Fantastic. You just can't do better than this gun. It's got the 507K optic on it, and the gun comes like that. I'm not going to make too much of it. Sometimes I'll also use this holster just so it's a little less stuff when I'm not feeling quite as gung-ho. I'll do this. And I will say just the way this is built, not to take anything from the other. I like that. And I like having the spare extra mag. However, when I have 10 plus one or I use the other mag, so I'm carrying 13, I just don't feel like I need the extra mag quite as much. And so on office days, it may be this. However, I'll say just by this clip and this clip all kind of so tight in together, this conceals better than any holster I have. Uh, it really presses in in a big way. And so even with a t-shirt, no one knows I'm carrying with this. On that one, you can kind of catch some printing. Just it's more real estate, less real estate, no printing. Very, very good. Traditionally, I've been carrying Federal HST as defensive rounds. It's really, really good. But now I'm on to Defiant Munitions. Great penetration, great expansion. I haven't finished fully testing them yet, but uh, I think this is probably going to be a winner. Can't go wrong either way, but right now I'm doing the defiant thing. Belt. Belt is an overlooked portion of EDC. Folks just figure, I'll just throw anything on and I'm like, man, if you carry a gun, you really need to improve the platform that gun sits on. I carry one of these belts. This is, I think, Supreme Appendix belt here. And I love this because with a button right here, it will unratch it like that. So when you sit down, you can be fat and happy. And then when you get up, you can just and it ratchets in and it's nice and firm. And then this has really no give. So it's a far, far better platform for a gun to sit on. Upgrade your belt. Next thing is it really an EDC thing? Because if I have my backpack with me, this is my EDC ready pack. I've used the exact same one for years and years. I like this secret compartment that I can use this little girl in, and I've been carrying the same gun for a very, very long time for century removal and shooting out lights and doing whatever nefarious activities that I care to. You know I'm bluffing, I'm kidding, but maybe. I also carry uh, assortments of medical. This is our single uh, IFAC, and I have added one extra thing to the normal trauma stuff, and that is glucose paste in case I uh, run into diabetics. We got them in the family and they're out in the world. And so I want to be able to help them. Another thing I added to EDC is I uh, have one of these little CPR masks. Another thing, this is our ankle medical kit. This one looks extremely old because it's extremely old. You can see even some of the contents needs to be updated uh, because it's just that there's an NPA that looks like it's just hanging on. Uh, this is a hemostatic agent that looks like the packaging is pretty bad. As long as there's no breakthroughs, it's okay. But I got to check the expiry. It's not that it's really old. It's just that it rubs. This gets high use. Also, I have stuff like credit cards in here and some cash. And so if I ever get mugged or something, 
I have a uh, backup. I don't wear this every single day. If I'm in the office or I'm wearing shorts or I'm wearing cowboy boots, which is happening more because I'm doing the whole fake farmer or fake cowboy thing, uh, I'll put this in my EDC pack. And if I don't have access to my everyday carry bag and I'm out and about with my family, you better believe I got some medical on us and this is my preferred way to carry. But I just wanted to be open and honest of like, I'm not always, always, always doing this. Also, uh, sometimes when I'm at the gym, well, I'm, I'm just disarmed sometimes when I'm doing certain activities, but other times I'll have a gun stuck in my Alexa pants and they have like this uh, in reinforced waistline with a little guard for my gun. We don't have this on our website yet because it's still just been playing with it and vetting it and stuff, but I've been using it consistently enough that we could actually put it up on the site. So look for that in the future. And I'm just trying to honestly say what is real EDC. And I'm trying to give you that. Very last thing I said, head to toe. These are Solomon Midrise boots. I don't think there's anything better than them. Super comfortable. And I'm ready to walk up a mountain and speed laces and stuff. So that is our everyday carry update. Ben, you said you had one like closing question. Yeah, yeah. Other than your gun, what would you say uh, to the folks is the most important thing that you carry for EDC? It's a bit overkill, but if I really had to use them, I would use these, you know. Whoa, those are too dangerous. Put those things away. Hey. I can't, they're attached to my wrists. So that's EDC, the stuff you carry. I also want to leave you as, as a trainer, as a guy who teaches people fighting and defense. I can't just let you off and be like, here's stuff. I would like to impress upon you the need to get training and get skill. I would love it if part of your EDC was a healthy, strong, fast, agile, flexible body. So make sure as you carry yourself, yourself is a force for good, hard to kill and good at protecting. So carry that. And I'd also say what's in between your ears, as I point to my temple, in between your ears. And that means that you got good mindset and you got some good skills. Uh, you've got some fighting training. So hand to hand stuff is really good as well. And so don't think that you are safe just because of the stuff you carry. You got to have the skills to be able to put those in and skills trump stuff. This has been your 2023 EDC update. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, toggle notifications bell to all like, comment, share, Train hard, train smart. See you next year for EDC 2024. Unless the world just completely falls to ashes and burns and we're all in this dystopian Orwellian future where no one has any shoes anymore and there's just always a gray sky and ash is always falling ominously from the sky and robots are probably in charge and most of the world has organized itself into dangerous factions. And yeah, so then we won't do the 2024 EDC update. In that case, keep your head on a swivel.